Sarah Sordino, I was gonna say Sarah Dino. That's not her name. Sordino. Melinda Saradono. Saradono? Now you're just making shit up, Jan. Jesus. It's about a book. It's about a book. No. Nope. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the Beyonce book tag. Because she's a goddess so therefore she needs a tag. It was created by Gusher Books. She also tagged me. She doesn't really make videos that much anymore, but hopefully she'll come back. I'll leave her link down below if you still want to check her out. There's a total of eight songs that you have to pick books for, so without further ado, let us get started! The first song is Halo. And it is a book that inspired you. I am going with Speak by Laurie Hulse Anderson. It's about a young girl named Melinda Sorodino and she broke up the high school party in the summer that was like the biggest party of the year so when she goes into her freshman year everybody hates her and it's basically her story about being bullied and all those nasty things that come along with high school but it is such a beautiful story. If you haven't read it already, please read it. It's one of my favorites. It's so good. The next song is Single Ladies. I absolutely love this song so much. I'm going to go with Alice from Alice in Zombieland by Janice Shoalwater. I recently read this book and Alice is so awesome. She is so kick-ass and she doesn't take no for an answer. She will do anything in her power to stop the damn zombies. She lost her family in a car crash and she ends up seeing these zombies that her father always said were around but she never believed him. She ends up becoming a zombie slayer and she is so kick-ass and it's just such a good book. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I'll leave my January wrap up up there, shameless promotion! Alice is just super kick-ass and I wish that I could be more like her because I want to kick zombies butts. That would be fun. Song 3 is Irreplaceable. <laughs> And it is a book that can never be replaced, and I am going with The Duff by Cody Keplinger because I cannot go a tag video without mentioning The Duff by Cody Keplinger. I'm saying it can't be replaced because it is my favorite guilty pleasure book. I love it. A lot of people hated it, I know, but I loved it. I thought it was super cute, and it was really fast to read, and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Song 4 is Diva. I also love this song. I feel like such a badass when I listen to it. <laughs> And it is a book with your favorite sassy character, and I am going with Georgia Nicholson from the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison. She is hilarious, she is sassy, she is everything I inspire to be. I love sassy characters, and she is the top of these characters. If you haven't read these books, read them, they're hilarious. Five is Upgrade You. <laughs> a book that you thought could have been better, and I'm going with Point of Retreat. By Colleen Hoover. I read Slammed. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. Read this book right after and I was very disappointed. It was good because of the slam poetry. I hated Will's point of view. I found him so annoying. He's supposed to be like 23 or something like that. He acted like he was 12 half the time. If you want to hear my thoughts, go to my wrap up. Look, shameless promotion yet again. But I just. No. No, no, no. 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 You could have done better. Six is Crazy in Love and.
book you can't help but love. And I'm going with The Merciless by Daniel Vega. I didn't think I was going to like it that much because I've never read a YA horror novel before, but it was actually really good. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Check out my review if you're interested. Shameless promotion as always. I really liked it. It kept you on the edge of your seat the entire time. I couldn't get enough of it. I could not put it down. I definitely recommend it. Read the book. 7 is Sweet Dreams. <laughs> you thought a lot about after you were done and I'm going with Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. This book ends in such a cliffhanger and there's no other book. There's nothing. It's a standalone book. I can't deal with it. It's so good. I also have a review. That's four. Another new record. Thank you. Thank you. I know. You can't get enough stuff promotion on this channel. There's so much of it. It's about a boy who goes missing and then nine years later he reunites with his family and it's just, it's crazy the things that go down because you don't expect the ending. You don't expect it. And then it comes and you're sitting there like, no, no, it's not over. It can't be over. But it is over. Read the book. I gave it a 4.5 stars on Goodreads only because the ending. You can't leave me hanging like that, Lisa McMahon. You can't do it. But you did it. And I'm upset at you for it. Eight is Ego. <laughs> And it is a book that you don't think deserved all the hype. I'm going with Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I mean, it does deserve the hype, but like the ending though, I don't want to give you hype because I hate you. I hate you. Alright guys, so that was the Beyonce book tag. I will leave who I'm tagging down below. Check it out. It's you. So make the video and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.